Hang all the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know You better Hey guys, it's Kendra. So today is December 1st and it's officially the first day of Vlogmas. Well, our version of Vlogmas anyway. So we decided that we're gonna do once a week. So we're gonna do Vlogmas week one, Vlogmas week two, and so forth. Because I don't think I can do the every day, every other day. I can't, I don't know if I can commit that much and I don't wanna lie. I wanna be a liar and be like, oh, you're gonna get a vlog every other day or every day. I don't think that's gonna happen. So more power to the people who are doing it every day. Props to you because that's a lot. We're gonna do weekly vlogmas vlogs like we did last year so um it's kind of like we started like our vlogmas a little early like with holiday stuff because y'all saw like us um kind of putting up our tree in our last vlog so um yeah it's like we started doing our christmas stuff a little early because we can wait to december 1st apparently and y'all didn't get a vlog last week because we were gone for five days and we honestly did not remember to vlog and also we were just enjoying our time with our family and we're kind of in the moment so and there wasn't really much to vlog guys like y'all would have been bored and yeah there weren't much to vlog but food um but food and football because that's literally all we do when we're home even though that's what we do while we're here too but like unhealthy food there because they be cooking like too much and they be trying to feed us but I'm not, I wasn't complaining because I enjoyed my family so we just got done filming a video and it was a November favorites and I'm just importing this footage now and then I'm gonna edit the video because it's going up tomorrow today's Tuesday and I'm going to upload it tonight and while it's uploading, Kelsey and I are going to watch Chris Lee Knows Best. Um, because that's back, I think it's been back for like two, three weeks now. I love Chris Lee Knows Best. And then we're going to watch Scream Queens because we like Scream Queens on Tuesdays. I think that's all on Tuesdays, I think. I just can't wait till Pretty Little Liars comes back um, in January. But, um, oh yeah, I want to show you guys like a couple of our other holiday knickknacks that we got today at Home Goods, Even though I went in there just for sheets. Um, that was supposed to be the plan and then we came out with other stuff. But we got two snow globes and they're so, so pretty. Let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. This lighting in here is terrible. Let me just slide it back there. Um, this is the Eiffel Tower and I thought it was so, so pretty because it has the snowflakes on it and the Eiffel Tower looks so, so pretty. And I thought it was like just fitting and symbolic for, you know, the thing that just went on in Paris recently and just stuff going on lately overall i just felt like i mean we came across this for a reason you know it just looks so so pretty like i'm obsessed with the snow globe and the top is bigger like than like the normal snow globe size so yeah that's what that one looks like let me show you guys the other one that's in the living room so this is what the other one looks like it's basically like the nat nativity kind of setting like the nativity set that people have for christmas every year and we were looking for something like the nativity theme, like this actual setting with like baby in a manger and like Mary and Joseph kind of thing. And this is so, so pretty. We found it obviously at Home Goods, And I think this is like the only one we saw. So I don't know if they had like any more there. If you're looking for some really pretty snow globes that aren't like tacky, but like are kind of glamorous and go with your decor, home goods is like the best and sorry if this lighting just got a little darker the lamp i don't know what's wrong with those bulbs we need to get some new ones um but this one has like some sparkles in it too i'm just obsessed y'all i'm such a christmas dork i don't care though because christmas is the best holiday ever and this is just so so pretty and it has like the silver kind of like vintagey silver like kind of charcoal color base at the bottom and I think it goes perfectly with our decor in our living room because I want I still like Christmas decor that goes with the theme of your living space. So I like to incorporate my theme with Christmas. So yeah, I don't like too much too many bright colors. I like to keep it neutral. So this I love. And while I'm already showing you guys like updates on Christmas decor, I might as well show you guys. I, I don't think we showed you our reindeer that we bought for the tree. Oh, it looks so pretty right here. I'm just going Christmas crazy right now. We got some reindeer. These are from Target. And they're like, uh, we got gold ones. And we have some silver ones here. Um, it's probably too dark. You probably can't see the silver one. 
um but i don't know how many we got but i think they're so so pretty and they go perfect with um the other gold and silver ornaments on our tree so um yeah here's a silver one if you guys can see that and kelsey wants to add more because i still want to add other stuff to this tree but i still want it to go with the other like colors our color color scheme because the theme is silver and gold there's our cute little elephant lucky we named him um i think we want to get like a couple more like ornaments that are silver and gold just to add more festiveness to the tree but i think it looks really good right now though with like our little reindeer and um yeah i think it looks really really good and we have another gold one up there i think we got like six of them six reindeer because you don't need a whole lot of ornaments like these like that are this size because they're bigger so you don't need like too too many you just need like like a good amount i think six is a good amount we put space them out on the tree yeah um that's what that looks like and i think i did tell y'all they're from target if you're wondering so target for the reindeer hey guys it's kendra so it is thursday and kelsey and i just got done filming a video and we're filming in the living room today because um we did a challenge video it was the bean boozle challenge and we just wanted a change in scenery we were sitting on the floor here and y'all that was nasty like I've seen like a couple of bean boozle challenges and I thought people were exaggerating. Uh uh. No exaggeration. It's nasty. Like the some even some of the ones that's supposed to be good were nasty too. So I'm just glad we got it out of the way because so many people were asking us to do it and yeah we did it. So So I'm gonna go brush my teeth and then fix myself a salad. Taste something normal. And yeah. So I just brushed my teeth and I feel so much better. Minty fresh. Um, but we went to Home Goods today. Um, we didn't vlog at Home Goods because we forgot the vlog camera. We left it here. But we picked up a couple of things to like organize um, the pantry and stuff like that because like an unorganized pantry just like I can't I can't deal with this. Like just looks careless to me. So we got like some things for like some cereal and some nuts. We were looking for like some baskets and stuff to um, like put snacks and stuff in, like chips and like pita chips and like stuff like that but i couldn't find any in home goods so i probably just go back and look because you know with home goods you have to just keep going back to look because i don't want to pay more than i have to for a basket but um we need to get some more um things for like the crackers and stuff um, i was inspired by miss liz hart because i don't know if you know who miss liz hart is here on youtube but she has like a lot of like organizational videos that like inspire me because i'm like Kendra's more OCD than I am. I'm slightly OCD, but Kendra's really OCD. So we just, you are. Thanks. We're just trying to like get our kitchen life together, you know, more organized. So here's our pantry. These containers um, that our cereal is in are from Home Goods, and they were like twelve dollars each, and they're super duper tall. Like they could fit even more cereal in here. Actually, this is like um like a family size box of Honey Nut Cheerios and these are like the Trader Joe's cereal that I like to eat the raisin brand, brand with the clusters and this is the almond clusters and these are full boxes of the cereal so I actually could have got more I didn't realize how tall they were and then these are the little things we got for our nuts our almonds and our cashews um and these were like eight dollars I think oh and by the way this is the butter toffee and this well, I haven't tried this gingerbread um, yet, this gingerbread popcorn, but this butter toffee popcorn is life. I got it from Target. Just wanted to mention that to you guys. But we still want to get like some like containers, but a little bit bigger than this for like um, our Cheez-Its and stuff, like our crackers. And I also want to get something to put like our granola bars in. Not like open them, but like the individually wrapped, like so you can like grab it and go along with my Rice Krispie treats because like I cannot live without my Rice Krispie treats. So yeah, those are just some things that we need to um, get to finish off organizing the pantry along with some um, baskets and stuff. And then like I want, really want to do like a, like how we organize our pantry kind of video on our main channel just because I kind of like those kind of videos. Like we kind of want to incorporate more like home like stuff into our channel because like we like are always on Pinterest. I mean, we watch HGTV all day long, so I'm surprised we have it sooner. So, yeah, oh, we got these cute cookie jars too. Uh, because the cookies, our cookies don't stay fresh as long as they could because they're like in the regular packagings. And these were like $3 each. 
they were very inexpensive and by the way we don't eat cookies every day we don't eat all this stuff every day this is like you know when i want to cheat a little bit and we also got this cute little um floral arrangement from home goods as well i think it looks cute on the um the counter i just feel like it looks cleaner up here because we had the juicer and our Nutribullet up here, but it took up way too much space and we didn't use them every single day, so it made no sense just to have them out. So I just feel like it looks cleaner. Oh, and while I'm vlogging, I want to show you guys these teas that one of our friends got us for our birthday. Shout out to Claudia, cause she got us all these teas um, from T Tivana, I think that's how you say it. Um, this is the brand because you guys know me and Kendra love tea. This is our tea cabinet. So those are the teas that we like buy from like Target and Whole Foods. And those are like our, our mugs and stuff. So we love tea. And of course we just keep our flat tummy tea in the drawer. But um, these are all the teas that she got us. They're like loose teas. So you just put them in like, um, like a tea bag or you put it in one of these things, like a tea strainer. I'm not sure where she got these from cause she gave them to us along with it. But I'm pretty sure you can find them anywhere like Target or something like that. But this is how the loose tea looks and they smell amazing. This one is pineapple Kona pop and this is my favorite she she said this is her favorite too and i see why because it's delicious i haven't tried this one yet this is passion tango but um this one is strawberry grapefruit and then this one is toasted nut brulee me and kendra like to drink this one a lot and then this one is raspberry pineapple and we like to um like boil a big pot of water on the stove and like put this in a pitcher in the fr refrigerator and it tastes really good um, let me show you how it looks actually we have some now but it's like way back there that's how it looks so it's, it looks like passion tea from starbucks to me so those are just some things i wanted to quickly show you guys so yeah i guess we'll talk to y'all either tomorrow or the day after hi guys so today's saturday and kelsey and i are leaving the mall because we had to hit up the eight dollar candle sale mm -hmm. at bath and body works and I know we just recently bought some candles like a few weeks ago, but that eight dollar candle sale does not come often. No. So I think it's like once a year, right? Yeah, like once a once a year. And we didn't go to the eight dollar uh, candle sale last year, so we wanted to take advantage of it this year. Because oh yeah, we did it. No, we didn't. We didn't go. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't as crowded in actual White Barn because we got our candles at White Barn. Um. It wasn't, it wasn't as crowded as we thought it was going to be, but the mall was crowded. Like, yes. the actual mall. Like, yes. people everywhere. Yeah, y'all know we don't usually go to the mall on weekends. Usually, the only time we'll go to the mall on weekends is when our family comes to visit. Yeah. Because they, like, want to go to the mall and stuff. But when it's just us, we go during the week. Yeah, like, when I'm on a mission to get, like, certain things. Yeah. I can't. I can't it's do too it. many people. Yeah. yeah. We both left with two bags, and I said I was going to get eight candles, and I think I, I got 12. We both got 12. Um, <laughs> Which is pretty good, because I watched Nitra Snap on snapchat and she got 30 by herself but you know she like yeah a she's like a candle queen so like we got like 24 total yeah mm -hmm. but they'll last us a while like mm -hmm. up until like the summer candles come i think yeah because we didn't really get any of the winter scents because they all they stink just don't smell good to me like the fresh balsam and like the i don't know this winter like winter i don't know everything like, like that pine either. cones and trees to me <laughs> i just i don't know it's not my thing yeah i don't like it either we got a couple new scents uh -huh. that we really like. Yes. Um, and of course I had to restock up on some sweater weather. Yes. And let us know if y'all went to the $8 candle sale because people were snapping me. We weren't going to go. Oh yeah. And people were snapping us like the little, uh, the poster that yes. they had mm -hmm. at Bath and Body Works. So I actually have you guys to thank yeah, for us coming. Yeah, you're kind of the influence. Well, a part of it, but we chose to go on our own. So yeah, that was our day so far. But um, right now uh, we're just going to go home and i think i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready i was gonna come get ready with me but i don't think i am because i don't even know what look i'm gonna do because kendra and i are going out to dinner with maria later but yeah that's what we're doing later on today hi guys so i just got done getting ready i want to tell you guys about this primer i just tried uh, by mark jacobs this is the mark jacobs here I had the box this is the mark jacobs undercover perfecting coconut face primer so i've been hearing a lot of good things about this and i really wanted to try it i wasn't gonna get it but this Lorac perfection mattifying face primer broke me out so now i have to take this back to ulta and i'm kind of sad about it because like i said in the haul i thought this was gonna be like holy grail status for me because it's mattifying and it like helps to cover pores and that's like pretty much all you want in a primer but it didn't work 
um i had like little white bumps on my face after two days of using it and i knew it was that because that, that was like the only new thing i had been using so um hopefully i like this one I, I used it today and it's like it's really nice i really like it it's like really smooth and hydrating but i just hope it doesn't make me oily but the reason i wanted to try it was because i heard some oily people say that it was still good for oily skin so um hopefully i like it but um maria's gonna come over here to like um get ready and stuff because um she just got off work and um we go to dinner at like nine and it's like um uh, 7 15 so got ready early because i'm watching the game right now the acc championship is on and alabama and florida are playing and i'm pretty sure alabama's gonna win of course but let me not jinx it but they're winning right now so yeah if you guys want to know what I'm wearing, I'm going to post the outfit of the day. So, uh, we always have our Instagram down below if you guys want to go follow us. Because that's where I'm going to post my OOT well, outfit of the night. And if you want to know what I just put on my edges, this is the Hicks Edge. Yeah, the Hicks Edges. And I've been using this for a real long time. My mom actually put me onto this because... The girl who used to do her hair when my mom used to get sew-ins, she used to put it on my mom's edges. And I used it one day and I was hooked, so. And if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, I feel like I wore this lip color last time I went to dinner with Maria. This is Nutmeg by NYX in the center, and then on the outside is Chestnut by MAC lip pencil, both lip pencils. And I also just tried some new lashes tonight as well. And these are the Salon Perfect Lashes in number 614. So this is how the packaging looks, and... I'm obsessed. Um, Walmart never has them because a girl that I follow on Instagram posted these and I was like, I need to go get those lashes. And they only had one pack left and I got the last pack. So I think um, I'm just gonna order them in bulk on Amazon because they're like so pretty. They're like super soft. They are kind of long, but they're not like, like dramatic long. They're like natural to me. So if you guys are wondering what highlighter I am wearing, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um highlighter and peach nectar and it's gorgeous like i'm obsessed with it so this is how it looks so pretty um yeah just gonna wait on maria to come because she should be here in like 20 minutes 30 minutes and then we're gonna go and eat hey guys it's kendra so we're about to go to dinner right now and i did an outfit of the day if you guys are interested in my outfit it's on instagram and my lips i'm wearing um a lippy stick from ColourPop called Toasty with Vamp from Anastasia Beverly Hills on top. And um, the rest of my makeup, I'm wearing this Chanel foundation and I've been liking it so far. It's like really like, not natural, but it's not, um, it's not cakey. So I guess that's why I like it. And my eyeshadows are all Anastasia shadows. And my highlight is So Hollywood by Anastasia and I love that highlight. It's like one of my new favorites. So there's Maria, say hi. <laughs> She just came from work, so she doesn't like how she looks that much. But we're about to go eat. <laughs> this Christmas, and as we trim the tree.